Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a modern seatbelt script which allows you to buckle up when you get in a car with K or slash seatbelt um, and you can unbuckle by pressing shift and F. Um, so pretty easy. So um, this can kind of be used for pretty much whatever you want um, because if you go ahead and hit something, obviously a seatbelt's gonna protect you more. Um, they do have a configure file where you can um, show if you want the um, notification if a person is driving without a seatbelt, um, the distance that notification is sent out, the key binding, and you can also exclude vehicles and vehicle seats. So if you don't want the alert going off for anybody in the vehicle uh, passenger seats or the secondary or third seats, um, you can go ahead and do that as well. Pretty easy, right? Pretty cool. I kind of like it. I think it will work well. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. So rather than doing the git clone, we're just going to go ahead and do the download manually button here. Go ahead and click this. It will go ahead and download the latest uh, zip file. Open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up your files for your server. And you're going to go in here and you can see there is a lot of files in here. These are all the ones that we're going to be using. So we're just going to keep this in this overall folder for now. You're going to go to your server data resources folder. And this is where um, your resources are located for your server. If you uh, never installed a resource before, you'll have only the big ones here. I'm not going to have anything else. But if you've installed resources in the past, you probably know where this is. For me, it's my server data resources folder. If you're on Zap Hosting, it would be your FTP. And if you are on TX Admin, it would be your TX data folder. And then you're just going to go ahead and drag in the overall folder and just have seatbelt dash main. I'm going to rename this get rid of the dash main because that's something GitHub adds on downloads. So the server and the resource name is just going to be seatbelt here. And then in here, you can see there is the config.lula, which you can edit with notepad plus plus. Do you want um, the player ID to be identified? Um, how do you want the distance to be the key binding? You can get the key bindings at that link. Um, should you have a uh, seat three, no seatbelt, all that good stuff. Go ahead and put here. These are all of the different vehicles that are excluded as well. So you can configure this to your liking and then go to your server data, server.cfg file. If you're on Zap posting, make sure to edit this through your web interface. Otherwise it will not save correctly. And then just add insure the name of that seatbelt folder that we just renamed. So it's just seatbelt. Now, if we go ahead and start up our server with our start.bat or pressing start on your web interface, you can see here started resource seatbelt, and we know we are good to go. As long as you see started resource seatbelt with no errors, we know we are good to go. Let's hop in game and try it out. All right, so we are in game here and I have a vehicle. So if I go ahead and get into the vehicle, obviously I'm not gonna have a seatbelt on by default. So if I start driving and get hit by a vehicle, it's gonna be worse than if I did. So if I type slack seatbelt, I'm going to go ahead and put on a seatbelt. You can see that little animation there. I now have a seatbelt on. If I go ahead and press F, I'm obviously not going to be able to get out because I have my seatbelt on. But if I press Shift F, it's going to go ahead and let me get out because I quickly took off that seatbelt. Pretty easy, pretty cool to use. Um, so hopefully you use this on your server to make it a little bit more realistic. I like the features where you can do that. And you can see the no seatbelt sign there and press K to fasten your seatbelt. So if I go ahead and press K there, I'm going to go ahead and fasten my seatbelt and that warning goes away. So hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure to use this on your server if you want it. Um, if you have problems with it, leave it on the resource page. Otherwise, subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you in the next video in a couple of days, or I mean tomorrow, whenever this video comes out. I think it's some point in January. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, everyone. And I'm sliding down a hill.